So to compute for the net cash inflow, so what you need to do is to determine if there are any proceeds, uh, especially on the sale, and then if there is a trade-in value, or if there is um, savings from avoidable repairs. So maumuna siya ay appeal sa imuhang uh, inflows. So cash inflows. So for this problem, you have Acme is considering the sale of a machine with a book value of 160,000 and 3 years remaining useful life. Straight line depreciation of 50,000 is made annually. The machine has a current market value of 200,000 and what is the cash flow from selling the machine if the tax rate is 40%. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to do is to determine what is our cash flow from the proceeds. So, asa mandiri ang proceeds, so that is the value when you are going to sell the asset. So, you have, okay, for a while, ha? Ibuga na ako ang ball pen. Okay, so first is you, are, you have your proceeds. So your proceeds uh, refers to um, the amount that you're going to receive when you sell the asset. So here the proceeds would be 200,000. So mamanin halin. So where can we get that amount, ma'am? That is our current market value. Next is you have to consider if there is gain or loss. So, i-compare ni mo ang proceeds and ang carrying amount. Okay? So, if you compare the proceeds and the carrying amount, you will determine kung naa by gain or naa by loss. Because the gain or loss has a tax implication. It's either you're going to add that or you're going to deduct. So, let's get the proceeds. So, the proceeds again here is 200,000. And then you have the carrying amount. So we need to compute for the carrying amount. So naaba siya. Kinahanan pa ba compute? So given naman siya here. Diba book value is the same with the carrying amounts. Equal na siya sa carrying amount. So no need to compute. Pero kung dili siya given, kinahanglan pa mo siyang i-compute, remember? So kinahanglan pa ng compute ka mo ang cost or carry uh, no, cost and accumulated depreciation to get the carrying amount. So since the proceeds here is greater than the carrying amount, it's a gain. And what is the treatment of the gain? So the tax on the gain, remember dili ang gain ang atong i-include but the tax the tax on the gain will be computed and that will be adjusted in your proceeds. So, since this is a gain, your tax would be a deduction. Okay? So, you have tax on gain. Okay? So, the tax on gain here is 160,000 and you get the tax rate that's 40%. So, 160 times uh, 40%, so that's um, sorry, the day 160. So our gain here, compute na to ang difference, the day 160. The difference uh, between one to uh, 200 and 160 is 40,000. Sorry, 40,000. So our gain here is 40,000. So 40,000 times 40 percent, so that's 16,000. And what is the effect if that is a gain? Ang tax kay i add. So i add ang tax. Ah, sorry, not i add. I minus ang tax. Okay. Again, if that is a gain, i deduct ang tax. I deduct sa proceeds. If it's a loss, you're going to add the tax. So this one, since it's a gain, so you're going to deduct. So that would be 184. Since wala man siya ma-mention o avoidable repairs or trade-in value, proceeds na man yung gibutang diri. So, this is our net cash inflow. Okay? 184,000. Next question number 2. ABC Company is deciding whether to purchase a new equipment costing 135,000 and replace an old one purchased 10 years ago. So what is the net cash investment? So recall what is the 
formula to get the cost of investment. So that is the difference between the net cash outflow minus the net cash inflow. So therefore, we need to get this one, these two items to get the answer for this problem. Okay, so first is you, ne you need to get the net cash outflow. Okay, net cash outflow. Okay, so what would be our net cash outflow here? So this would be our investment. Itong gasto, di ba? So ang atong gasto ay is 135,000. Then we need to get the net cash inflow. We will start with the proceeds. Pila man tong proceeds from sale. So pila man ang yang halin kong uh, ibaligya ni mo na siya. So you have uh, that's 400 uh, not 400. Here you have it can be sold for 42,000. So you have 42,000. And determine if there's a gain or a loss. So, balik ta, proceeds, i-compare ni mo sa carrying amount. Okay? So, here, what is our proceeds? That's 42,000. Okay? And what is our carrying amount? Since the carrying amount is not given, so we need to compute for the carrying amount. So, how do we compute the carrying amount? The carrying amount is equivalent to your cost minus your accumulated depreciation. What is the cost of our equipment? So, 81,000 minus the accumulated depreciation. It was purchased 10 years ago and the remaining life is 6 years. So, therefore, our total life here, 6 plus 10. Kay 10 years ago, man daw siya napalit. And then, ang 6 years man yung remaining life. So, ang yung total life is 16 years. Okay. So, money siya ay yahang total life. So, the remaining money siya, remaining life kay 6 years. O niya, nagamit naman siya 10 years ago. So, therefore, ang total life niya kay um, 16 years. Okay? So, let's continue. So, you have... Okay. So, kaning 42,000, this is on the uh, proceeds kong mahalin. But this is not our salvage value. So, let's proceed. So, 81,000. So, how much is our annual depreciation here? So, pwede rin po nato siya shortcut para makuha na tayo na to ang accumulated depreciation. So, remember, the total life is 16 years and ang accumulated depreciation na to would be equivalent to the total of the depreciation for the past 10 years. But if we want the shortcut na way na makuha na tayo na to ang carrying amount, so, so let's use first the... Uh, Long form. So, to get the accumulated depreciation, so, kanis ya, to get the accumulated depreciation, so, this would be the uh, formula. So, you multiply this, you multiply by the uh, used nga years, mauna mani na used nga years, that's 10, so, talong sa datog, so, what? Okay. So, multiply by 10 years over 16. So, unsa maning 10, this is your used. Okay. So, this is to compute the accumulated depreciation. So, 81 times 10 over 16. So, 81 times 10 over 16, you have 50,625. Okay? So, 50,625 is our accumulated depreciation. So, this is the amount we're going to place here. So, the answer would be... 30,375. Okay, so that is our carrying amount. 30,375. Uh, shortcut would be this one. So, carrying amount is equivalent to 81,000 times. Pila man ang remaining life niya, that's 6 years. So, times 6 over 16, again, ganun, 16 man siya. This is your total life. Kaya napalit siya 10 years ago niya. Ang remaining life kay 6. So, ang total life yun sa asset is 16. 
So you have 81,000 times 6 over 16. So you will get 3375. So that is our carrying amount. So you will still get the same answer, right? So parehas lagi hapon. So compare now your proceeds and the carrying amount. Your proceeds is greater than your carrying amount. So the difference here is 11,625. And since our proceeds is greater than our carrying amount, so there is a gain. So gain ang result. So this is a gain. So remember what is the effect? If it is a gain, it is a deduction from the proceeds. Ang tax on the gain. So, here you have tax on gain. Okay. Tax on gain. So, that's the rate here is 30. So, 30% 30 of 11,625. So, times 30%, you have uh, 3,487.50. And remember, pag gain na siya, that is a deduction. Pag loss ang resulting, i-add siya sa proceeds. Okay? So, you have the difference is 38,512. 38,512.50. So, since there's no avoidable uh, repairs, so, mauna ni ato ang net cash inflow, you get the difference. You have 96,000. 487.50. This is our net cash investment or net cost of investment. Nanong parehas naman na sila ang net cash investment o net cost of investment. Kaya ang cost of investment nato ay involves cash inflows and cash outflows. So, cash investment kaya po ni siya. Okay? So, this is our answer. If you like this video, don't forget to click like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to be updated with the latest video lessons. Thank you for watching!